name is Emily and I support the Independent Garden Centre team with some of their marketing and creative efforts. With all of our marketing efforts, we want to grab our customers' attention, stay in their memory, and make an impact, right? But wherever it is you're focusing your attention, be it the inbox, social media, the World Wide Web, perhaps your local community, you are there with dozens, if not hundreds, or probably even thousands of other businesses competing for that same attention. So how can we stand out? How do we trigger something in our customer's brain that makes them want a little bit more from us? This is where knowing some basics within human behavior and indeed human psychology can not only be really fascinating, but incredibly useful. Because while demographically we all have our differences, on a deeper brain science level at our core, our brains are arguably programmed in much the same way. So today I'm going to share with you just three psychological principles that you can utilize to help you perhaps come up with some more effective content within your marketing efforts. So let's jump in. Principle one, the Von Restroft effect. If something looks different, we'll remember it. You're probably familiar with this concept as a principle, even if you didn't know its fancy name, because it's one of the most obvious cognitive behaviors, but it's also one of the most effective when it comes to memory and recall. It's why if someone sends you to the shops with a grocery list and they've highlighted one item, your brain will immediately focus on that item as a priority. It explains why something that stands out like a sore thumb immediately becomes more memorable to us. And our sneaky little marketers have been taking advantage of this for years. Now, whilst it certainly works if something simply looks different, you do get bonus points if that something also looks a little bit weird. Because the Von Restroft effect at its most powerful is why we lock in on images where something doesn't seem quite right. For example, a gentleman wearing a Shrek costume in the middle of a garden center or going for triple points with the added or cute factor of a dog wearing gumboots. Something that seems a bit weird, is a little bit out of the ordinary or the expected, takes our brains that much longer to process and to understand. And that additional mental energy means we're actually absorbing what we're seeing, which in turn helps us to remember it. If it's weird and grabs our eye, we don't skim it. Now this principle can be as simple as a big bright call to action button, which really stands out from any uniform text or background that may be around it. But it's also one where you can get really creative with and have a bit of fun with as well. How can you subvert the expected with the images you produce in store? Do you have a gnome that you can dress up and move around the store and then caption with certain opinions or observations of your day to day or a pet that visits? Could you perhaps stage a little wedding ceremony for two flowers and call it a bunning romance? What are some ways you can go about your day to day, but make it a little bit weird? Principle two, the Zeganic effect. We've all seen and maybe been a little bit frustrated by this one before, and that is don't give them the goods right away. And as frustrating as it can be when done right, it really works. In an age where so much of our success lies in the customer's attention holding with us longer than two seconds, marketers can make use of the Zeganic effect to boost engagement because something that feels incomplete in our brains will demand our attention until we're able to resolve it or complete the task. Because the Zeganic effect states that people tend to remember and focus on uncompleted tasks more than the completed ones. Dr. Zeganek first studied this behavior after noticing that waiters could remember everything about tabs that were still open, but hardly anything about the tabs that had already been paid. When we finish something and we mark it as complete in our minds, we naturally place our mental energy elsewhere, generally to all the tasks that we haven't finished yet. It's why on forms, adding something as simple as a progress bar can be extremely motivating to us. But this principle is also incredibly effective when it comes to what we write. For example, never forget the power of the ellipsis, because you should always finish what you. Here's a subject line example from Uber. Since we can't all win the lottery, or super group, our number one most asked question is, these present ideas that are incomplete, increasing the chances we'll want to click and learn more. So don't forget to tap into the Zeganic effect by using copy or design that both teases your content and makes your audience feel like it's going to lead to a bigger payoff if they complete whatever task you're asking of them, say opening or clicking on an email. Principle three, social default bias. We're all a bunch of copycats, so long as no one's looking. Social default bias says that when we're having trouble picking between two products, we're more likely to buy the one that others have chosen. 
the catch? Most of us just don't want others to see us do it for fear of being viewed as a follower. It's why we might openly ask a friend where they got that gorgeous top from. But if we do go out and buy it, we probably won't wear it when we see them next. This is what makes user-generated content and social proof so powerful for marketers, especially when paired with something like email. Your inbox is typically a private place. When you see an email that includes photos or quotes from real customers using a product, then you feel like it's already been vetted for you which makes it feel that much easier for you to feel comfortable enough to purchase it. And no one needs to know that you just followed the crowd. It's also, of course, why we troll through a business's online reviews. It's the word of mouth effect without actually needing to speak to anyone. 15% of people trust recommendations from brands, while a whopping 84% trust recommendations from people they know. This is why collecting reviews and testimonials is incredibly important, but also why if you actually have them, you shouldn't forget to actually promote them within your marketing efforts. Highlight a few positive reviews that you've got and share them in your social media posts. Send an email out and call it, well, don't take our word for it, and include a few customer positives on a particular product or else on your business as a whole. And make sure some of those testimonials are front and center on your website. In this way, you will be helping your customers to feel more secure and confident about doing business with you. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you discovered at least one new trick to work into your marketing and content creation efforts. As always, any questions, please send them through. We'd love to help you out. Until then, see you next time.